everybody. Welcome to Monday, August 31st. Now, this is a day every year that I pause. And I pause because I always think about, I know that in the US, Labor Day is the official ending to the summer. But for some reason, my whole life, I've always felt like August 31st is that day for me where summer is really over. Now, the weather still may be nice. We may still be on vacation but it's that time of year when I really start to reflect. And there's something that happens in my brain that says on September 1st that we're really like back to school. And back to school is, is a time for me that even though I'm not in school anymore, that was always about new starts, fresh starts. You know, like you could be anything in a new year of school. You could, you could ha accomplish anything. You could remake yourself and come back and walk in the halls of that school and say, this is who I am today for this year. And it's just a little psychological game that I have. But when I think about it, it really, this is a, an important day. I also try and never schedule any meetings or phone calls or anything on this day. I don't really know why I've always done that, but it's a part of, I think, my you know saying goodbye to one season and welcoming in a new one. So when I, when I do that, I really try and take time to reflect. And of course, you know, my journal plays a big part of that, how I reflect, um, what I'm thinking about, what I'm trying to um, review of the last season and what I really want to accomplish and focus on for the next season. So to me, it's this great time where I really just, I don't know, that I, I just, I step back and I, I say, what is important? What is important to me now? What was important to me later? Um, and what will be important to me later? So I, that's gonna be my theme for the week. And it's, it's great to have this be on a Monday because it's really about, you know, diving in to the next level. And for those of you who are actually literally going back to school, you know, keep that in mind. Fresh start, always a great opportunity. So this week on the podcast, we have obviously another great lineup. So today is Rebecca Duval Scott. She talks about hope for sensory processing disorders and, um, and differences. So she talks, she's written a great book, um, part of our author series that talks about her helping her son learn how to live a really full and rich life with sensory processing disorder. And we talk a little bit about, you know, how this affects uh, even kids with autism or ADHD and what as parents and family and friends we can do to be more aware and help not only the young people in our lives that may struggle with these issues, but also the friends and family that are dealing with it on a daily basis. On Tuesday, tomorrow, we go back in time and go into the vault to pick out Mary Ann Fairmouth, and she was part of our Job Seekers series. She t talks about stepping back to reflect. And really, you know, it's great. When uh, listening to this again always reminds me of how great our conversation was and talking about making sure that you're doing something you're passionate about. So no matter what job you're trying to get, if you're not passionate about it, then really what are you doing? And I think it really sparks something. And I know there's a lot of people right now that are you know, without jobs and they're in between because of so many massive layoffs. This is a good time to reflect, like what do you really want in that next job? Is it time for a pivot? You know, Just because you've done something for a long time doesn't mean you have to do that forever. And she reminds us that just because you are interested in something in your you know, teens and 20s doesn't mean that that's how you uh, have to operate or be for the rest of your life. On Wednesday, Yoram Solomon, he talks about selling on trust and not on price. And as uh, we had just such a fabulous conversation, he is such an incredible man with such a varied background, but he's, he's so, um, he's so excited about making sure that we talk about how much trust we can, um, create with other people and that really in the sales process if you do it right you can actually sell something at a higher price not that you would sell it at a higher price but meaning you won't have to discount as much if you have trust established because as we all know people like to buy from people they know like and trust trust is the key with that on thursday paula oleska and again we're going back into the vault from our job seeker series and she talks about how to keep cool during a job interview 
what was so fun is she is a basically like a brain expert. So she talks about how to rewire your brain to deal with stressful situations, for instance, like a job interview. And um, it, when we talked about, she actually even walks us through basically a mini meditation, which is all about, you know, kind of doing that body scan and that mind scan and getting yourself in the right mental space. And on Friday, we wrap it up with Linda Ruffneck, and she talks about how to achieve total world domination. She has an incredible background where she actually, uh, as a CEO, helped launch a company from its small, minute base to a global enterprise. And so she now works with companies, helping them to, you know, to learn how to scale and understand um, how to scale their business. And you know, as she puts it, not to make the same mistakes that she made. So as she is, we just, we could have talked forever, which is usually the case with all my guests. So a couple things, um, we will be releasing a new episode in our coaching corner this week. We will be uh, releasing a new episode in the Potential Lab this week. And dun, 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 we are also going to, this will be the actual last Monday motivation. <gasps> What are you saying, Michael? Why is it the last Monday motivation? Because starting tomorrow, we are gonna have the morning motivation. And I am going to have a new motivational talk every day of the week. Probably just a little bit shorter than these because we don't need to get the rundown for the whole week. But my goal is to, you know, let you know where my headspace is at the beginning of every day and uh, hopefully share some things to keep you motivated as well. So have a fabulous week and we'll see you tomorrow.